there's a chance they're gonna come after you. I literally eat one french fry of average length. Assalamualaikum, hello dinosaurs! It's your Muslim friend, Dina! Wah! It has been such a long time. Oh my gosh, how have you guys been? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be doing a little series on a friendship and a couple of things that I have learned about friendship. Let's go! When it comes to friendship, there are different levels of friendship, or I guess you could say different kinds of friendship. There are some people that you speak with maybe on a daily basis, some people weekly, monthly, yearly, right? And friendships, they change. This is natural. All relationships change. Everybody is in your life for a season, for a reason, or for a lifetime. But the thing is, like, when I was younger, I thought this whole lifetime thing was like, ah, forever, we're always going to be on the same level of friendship. And that is just not how it works. Because as people go through different seasons and different stuff, their lives change. They become more busy or more available or something else, right? So maybe somebody who you talk to every single day is now someone you talk to only once a month, right? That doesn't mean that you're a bad person or that they're a bad person. It just means that you guys, like your lifestyles and stuff, they don't match right now. There are some people that are bad people for you, so bye-bye. Get them out of your life. But when it comes to friendship, there are different kinds of people on this planet, and obviously you change over time just like they do and so maybe at one point in time you guys matched and then over time like they're changing like this and you're changing like this and you're going in really opposite directions and you guys just don't match anymore that's okay too because you'll find new friends and you know keep going and maybe over time you guys will circle back around and whatever whatnot maybe like it won't be like an official break it'll be like a wee wee kind of a thing right so they go from a weekly friend to a monthly to a yearly to every two years, to a, a, a every one year, right? Like it, it, it changes and that is okay. There are some people that need to be expeditiously removed from your life, but there's some people that it's hard to figure out whether or not they are a good friend for you. Now, when I use the word good and bad, that does not literally mean like the goodness of the planet to the badness of the planet. It just means that this person and the things that they do and that they don't do, they have been harming you in a way you do not need that kind of energy in your life friends should be people who are on the same or similar level as you anytime the dynamic becomes like this where one of you is above where it's teacher student therapist client parent child this is not a friendship relationship anymore because the person who is here is always going to be give 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 giving and this person's always going to be take 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 taking simply because this person is incapable of giving in this dynamic because they don't have anything to give to this person. If you guys are parent, child, therapist, client, or something like that, teacher, student relationship, it's okay. But if you are friends, personally for me, the more that time goes on, the more I realize I want someone who is, you know, so, you know somewhere on a similar level, somewhere in a similar season, right? If you just become a mother, for example, it doesn't mean you're gonna hate all of your childless friends, but you're probably gonna hang out with more people that have kids, because now you have more things in common with them. The five people that you spend the most time with, if you take an average of them, of their money habits, of their health, are they fit? Of their relationships, are they in a happy relationship? Of their job, and uh, do they like their job? You're basically gonna be an average of them. Do you want to be an average of them? If somebody tells you, oh my God, you're just like your friend, how do you feel? Are you like, oh, no, I'm not like them. Or are you like, yeah, I guess I am like them. How do you feel? Check how you feel. Over time, this might change. Because again, you're gonna, <laughs> things change over time. This is life. Welcome to the world. Things are gonna change. And it is sad. It's sad. It's disappointing. Sometimes you're like changing and this person's like, I wanna change too. And you're like, great, come with me. This is how you do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. It doesn't do anything. Are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. When? I'm coming, chair baby, mommy now. Oh my god, I'm not gonna do anything now. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I, I keep, I keep going. Now you're too far apart. It is really sad, especially when you have known somebody for a while. Just because you have known somebody for a while does not mean you need to continue knowing them for more time right? If you find yourself dreading to meet somebody, this might not be a person who is good for you now. If you're like, oh yeah, I gotta hang out with this person. Oh god, I gotta hang out with this person. And after you're done hanging out with them, you're like exhausted for hours on end. This person is like sucking your life energy out, whether they know it or not. This is not a good person to have in your life. 
That being said, let's talk about some very obvious people that should not be in your life. And then let's talk about some more not so obvious people. This is not a comprehensive list because I don't know everything. This is just things that I have learned through studying and through my personal life. I'm gonna throw in a couple of anecdotes. Certain people that are instant, goodbye, leave my life. Number one, if you are cheating on your partner, goodbye. If you are spending time with, inappropriately, with another person who you know is married or in a relationship, instant goodbye. These people's bad habits rub off on you. Do you want these bad habits to rub off on you? No. Also, these kinds of people obviously show you that they're extremely disrespectful. So if you are in a relationship, there's a chance they're going to come after you. Another thing is absolute no-no. If you're meeting, let's say you're in a group of three and one friend is married and you're single and the, uh, uh, friend two is also single. And friend two is dressing up way too much and it's because the married friend's husband is coming and friend two is like, that's weird. So you ask friend too, like, why are you acting like that in front of her husband? Oh, well, I went to school with him. <laughs> I know him. Like, did you know he had a crush on me when we were younger? Yeah. Okay, look, nobody cares what happened in the past. Who cares? That's the past. Right now, he's currently in a relationship with your friend. Why are you acting so, frankly, toxic? Unacceptable behavior. Bye. Another friend is the selfish one. Now, the selfish friend is gonna span all other levels of friendship. Uh, the thing is, the selfish friend, sometimes they don't realize they're selfish. A lot of people are selfish because of trauma. You need to go to therapy. Side note, EMDR and EFT are absolutely fantastic. EMDR literally heals CPTSD, PTSD, trauma, related stuff, anxiety and depression. Go there. Heal yourself. You don't always have to be like this, right? EFT is kind of like a cheaper version of EMDR. Selfish people. Let me give you a couple of examples in my life. I helped a girl move. This is a famous YouTuber, by the way. I'm not going to mention who. She called me and she was like crying and upset. She's like, I don't know. I got to move. Can you help me? So I dropped a lot of stuff to go to her house. Went all the way over there, an hour from my house. I thought I was going to be helping her move boxes. No, she didn't even pack. So I helped her pack for a few hours and I had another engagement planned. So I had to leave, but we got all the packing done and she already had a mover guy coming, right? Anyways, on my way there, she called me and she was like, hey girl, like, do you want me to buy you a hamburger? I want to buy you a hamburger as a thank you. Yeah, sure. I'll take a hamburger. Why not? Yeah. Like, do you want any fries with that? I'll totally buy you some fries. Uh, actually, I don't want any fries. Uh, I don't like just a hamburger's fine. Are you sure? I'm going to get you some fries. I don't want fries. No, thank you. Okay. Well, I'll get some fries for myself then. Okay, sure. That's fine. The hamburger gets delivered. We eat the hamburger and there's fries because she bought them for herself. Girl, you want some fries? Here, take a fry. Take a fry. Take a fry. Take a fry. Eat a fry. I, I don't want, I mean, I don't need, okay, okay, fine. If you insist, I'll have a fry. Sure. Why not? I'll take a fry. Thanks. I literally eat one french fry of average length i don't know if that matters but anyway i literally eat one french fry i help this girl pack for three and a half hours i help her sort her stuff her house is a complete mess not only does she need help packing she needs help organizing and cleaning which is also what i did out of the goodness of my heart i leave she moves thank god and then she calls me hey girl when are you planning on paying me back for that hamburger and those french fries you ate uh oh sorry what I thought you said you were gonna buy me a hamburger like for helping you out and I didn't even want fries. You like gave me one french fry. I, I didn't even want it. No, that's not how I remember it at all. No, like why would I buy you a hamburger? No, no, no. You owe me 16,000 won for that. I'm not paying you 16,000 won. A hamburger and one french fry is not worth 16,000 won. You know what? I will give you, I'm gonna check exactly how that hamburger costed and I'm gonna do some basic math on how much one french fry costs. I'll send you that amount. Give me your bank account. I'll send you 6,500 won for the total. Here you go. Yeah, no, you still owe me 16,000. I'm not gonna be giving you 16,000 for a hamburger that was not worth 16,000. You said that you were buying me a hamburger as a thank you. This is unacceptable. Okay, whatever, just send the money. Seriously? What the heck? Needless to say, this person was expeditiously kicked out of my life. I help you, and now you're coming back for one french fry that you insisted to give me? No, I cannot be friends with people that are thankless, so not grateful, and also I cannot be friends with people that are so stingy. You ate one of my french fries, so you owe me the cost of the entire thing. What? The kind of friendship dynamic that I like is if I get french fries and I offer you french fries, this is out of the goodness of my heart. 
okay? And now let's say that you eat a bunch of my french fries. You might be like, hey, like I eat, I eat most of your french fries. You know what? I'll buy you french fries next time we meet. It is so hot right now. Let me give you another example of another person who I helped move who was also extremely ungrateful and I have kicked them out of my life. This person overstayed their welcome at my house. They said that they needed a place to stay for two weeks and then they were gonna find another place to stay. Not only did they stay for five weeks, I had to help them find the place which is not what we agreed to. They ate my food, they used all the stuff in my house, they never paid me back, and they were just, in general, very rude. They didn't even clean. And I was like, hey, can you at least clean the sink? They literally somehow managed to make the sink dirtier than the, how it was before. Anyway, so I helped this person move, packed up all their stuff, and put it in their house, yeah? And then after we packed up all of our stuff and put it in their house that I helped them find, this is what they said. Oh man, it's so hot, man, and I'm so tired. I'm gonna go buy myself a lemonade. See ya. <laughs> and the sad thing is, at the time, I was very naive and I was way too giving. And so instead of me kicking this person out of my life immediately, I kind of kept them around. And this person, another bad friend, is the helpless friend. This helpless person, this like helpless wound is something you need to go to therapy for. You cannot be eternally helpless. But this person basically due to their own actions or lack of actions consistently had problems in their life and they consistently wanted me to save them. Absolutely not. I am not your savior, no. This person also consistently kept asking me for the stupidest favors. This is literally a thing that they asked me to do. Hey, like I just went back to America and I totally forgot to clean my sink. Can you go to my house, which is an hour away from your house for free, you're gonna go there like you're on your money. Can you clean my sink for me? No. No, I cannot clean your sink for you. You're gonna face the natural consequences of not cleaning your sink and just come back home to mold in your sink. This is the way the world works. Uh, this person also had a lot of other extremely ridiculous requests. This was a person who only take, 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 was very selfish and also very superior than me the whole time. Bad friends are ones who are extremely ungrateful, who are extremely selfish and who are extremely stingy. There are definitely more categories. We'll get to that in another video. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, hit the notification bell, and keep evolving dinosaurs. Bye-bye.